RA lead positioning, screw in type of lead to be implanted in the appendage area in a post bypass patient. The same inspection process is conducted for the RA lead. The screw is exercised similarly by turning counterclockwise until two and a half coils are visible. Once fully deployed, this is then retracted by turning the pinching tool counterclockwise. Care must be taken to make sure that the screw is fully retracted before attempting to insert it into the body. The pillaway sheath ins is inserted using the second guide wire. Once again, under fluoroscopy, to ensure that no inadvertent snagging of vein or heart wall muscle occurs. The dilator and guide wire are removed. The tip of the sheath needs to be pinched while negotiating the introduction of the lead into the sheath to avoid air entry into the bloodstream. Alternatively, a valve sheath may be used. The RA lead is positioned at the floor of the right atrium and at this point, the straight stylet is removed and the preformed J stylet is inserted into the RA lead while attempting to negotiate positioning at the area of the right atrial appendage. Commonly, the RA lead tip will want to go towards the tricuspid valve, and so torque must be applied to the stylet to bring it away from the tricuspid valve. Commonly, some balancing is required because one will notice that as torque is applied, there is a tendency for the lead to swing back and forth until it is finally stabilized and pops into the RA appendage. At this point, it is still at the tricuspid valve with efforts to try to swing it until it finally pops with one swing into the RA appendage. One confirms positioning in the appendage by, by a swinging motion of the right atrial lead. The screw is deployed similarly by clockwise motion of the pinching tool until under a magnified fluoroscopic view, one can full deployment of the screw. RA lead testing is conducted in three steps. The first is to check the P wave which on the minimum should measure one millivolt or greater. The injury pattern must be noted. Preliminary testing at two volts, pacing at two volts should be tried. Threshold testing is conducted only after the screw has been fully deployed. The capture threshold is the minimum amount of energy required to depolarize right atrial tissue and in this specific case there is still capture at one volt high output testing is similarly done for the right atrial lead to ensure absence of diaphragmatic stimulation